Just a moment. And now. <laughs> okay, great. Yep, we see it. Okay. <laughs> Say this, yeah, and the screen is clear. Well, um, from Dilma's UX experiments and testing, and uh, I've <clears throat> I've added uh, the home icon and the links are now uh, here, and now the image. <laughs> the image goes to profile and the name goes to one well, and my workspace and the but I've seen uh, the dashboard link and now uh, if you browse from the site you click to dashboard here still it still send you to the last two you browsed. So I don't know if if there's a way, <laughs> literally, I don't know, if there's a way to point dashboard to the tools in set. If you know how how should I do it, I can I can do it in a, in a moment. This is what the first the first doubt I, I had. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so each one of those we have to hand to you in the context. And so um, Eduardo or I could go in the back end code. It's like probably four lines of code. Um, oh, okay. and, and then you will detect it being in the content, the dashboard URL. Um, there's no way you can do it in just the VM, but in the, in the Java, you can do it too. If you go, you go look at those URLs that you're getting and hunt them down in Skinball Sharon portal, and then just kind of co copy and paste three lines of code or something, and you'll be okay. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, so that's easy to do, but you can't do it with just a VM change. You got to do both. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I no try. You know, yeah, it's not going to happen in the VM. It's got to. Okay. But it's a real simple change in the back, and and we just add it, and whether your VM uses it or not, it's up to the VM. Okay, perfect. I I tell Juan Jomeroño that helped me, and there's no problem. <laughs> well, and uh, the next thing was my new site side list. Okay, in in my local, I have too many sites like our our students and our teachers has, and I thought a little point to show those sites that are not visible, but I don't know if it will be easy to our users. I can I cannot prove it yet. So if we can add the uh, this to the next US test, well, it would be great. So we can test if it's like not having that, and that's what. And in tools, yes, it it work, but in sites, I think not. Uh, you do you, do you know it? Yeah, I don't even I don't even know how to set it up with all the things where it talks about the uh, different somebody who's better at the UI. I don't even know how to set it up. But it, things like what semester and stuff like that. Um, I actually like this a lot better. Although I wouldn't use the the I wouldn't use the plus on it. I would use like a double yeah. down arrow, and I would leave the number, right? I'd like you know there's one more and a double down arrow. So you got the down arrow for each site, and then instead of that plus, that makes a double down arrow. Yes. That makes sense. Mm. Yes. Yeah, because the yes. plus two. It looks like you're liking something, right? I mean, I love the idea, right? I love the idea right there that it doesn't say more sites anymore. And I love the fact that there's a number there. I love all that. Um, I just think that the plus mean is like too much Google Plus, right? Too much I like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, I did this that way without uh, categorization because our users usually doesn't categorize. And they just, you can see three lines of sites in their, in their, in their sakais. So I try to keep it this way, but yes, it had more sense to try to categorize. I, you know, I don't even know how to do it as a developer. It happens automatically on SQLs at Michigan, but I don't know how to do it. So that's why I'm like, I don't know how to do it. It just seems magical. So it's it <laughs> something that's all working already. Just have to check it. If you're using the code that was there before to make that list, the categorization might already work. I just we need somebody to test it, um, other than me, because I don't even know how to set it up. But other people do. Yeah, it's a okay. page property. So yeah. I mean, I totally love how this is just an extension of the top bar, right? Which is very different than what we had before. Right, it's like a different thing. This is just like, oh, there's more. It's an expando, as compared <laughs> to like a whole new window that doesn't include the the top five or six that you have at the top. Hi, this is Jeff. I think if um, I think on a site, if you add if you add the properties term and term underscore eid, I don't know which one does it, but I think that'll start the categorization for for terms. Uh, yes, yes. I uh, I click the number here. This is a uh, uh, one moment. Yeah. This is a div who contains the plus and the number. And you click and I just hide and show the different. Uh, is it work? I I don't. So uh, one moment. The the search still work. If you if you need to show the more sites, it still works. Too many houses in there. So, One, two, and three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was one more discussion which we want to talk uh, in this one. Uh, the the house inside the tool itself in the tool header. Do we want to put that as a house or the refresh icon? Um, that was actually a debate uh, initially. Mark had when he actually went through his. Uh, so yeah yeah so i you know i as soon as i saw that i kind of liked it right mm -hmm. and i it, it may communicate better than any other icon we've ever had there what it's really doing right yes so to go to the home in the preference tool right yep yep exactly and yep. and um you know so i like it and i, I kind of can get just looking at the screen, I get that the home in the upper left kind of takes me back to the top navigation. Mm -hmm. And frankly, you might as well make the Sakai clickable as well. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm thinking right now. Uh, yeah. To make the whole whole logo in, uh, as a home button. Uh, yeah. I think, uh, yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah, be it was, uh, it's another option. Uh, make all clickable. Yep. So yep. Exactly. That's it's what okay. I would do. Okay. Okay. Yep. And I so think if you do that, can we remove the home icon in that because it's almost a duplicate of No, the no, no, I don't think so. I think that was, I think we need something there. I mean, I don't think people are going to just like Super Mario and just bang their head on everything that they can bang <laughs> until they figure out what it is. I don't think that's good. I'd like it there. Okay. Of the three, I think that the place to change the icon is actually um, uh, the uh, the one that's in the tools, the actual home tool. And I, 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 I if I had a choice, I would vote for changing the icon in the home tool, keeping the house both for that upper left and the upper left of preferences, mm -hmm. and and something else in the home tool that, that denotes like summary 
because it's really, you know, synoptic. And okay. if all goes well, we'll get rid of it. But I just, in case we don't get rid of it, I would just want to change it to something else. I love the dashboard icon. That's exactly what I want to propose now. So is, can we okay. use the dashboard icon for that? For the so upper left? Yeah. So sorry, just, hi, this is Jeff. So just for clarification, are we saying that the home icon would, o would only be used for going to the top of a tool or it's going to be used in multiple places? Because one of the, when we, when Mark originally did that at NYU, that was a, that was a point of confusion that having the home at the top of the tool, some people thought, oh, that's going to take me to home. Um, and so we, we actually ended up replacing it with another icon, which um, I can send in 20 seconds if you want to see it. Yeah, you're probably right, Jeff. You're probably right. Well, I'm not right. The users are right. Well, <laughs> your 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 data seems plausible. How about that? Yeah, I'll just pull the top of this and send it. Of course, my sketch isn't working when I need it. Oh well. But there are other ways. Come on. And and the title that's clickable is reset, right? Yes. Yep. I love that. <laughs> Can we do one more thing while we're here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Open so, it. so go go right now on your screen, Eduardo, and quick click on preferences. No, oh, you just ruined everything. What? Whoa! I lost you. Oh, he's not anymore in this. Not sharing. No, he is not in the list either. I think he's kicked out of the list. Oh, okay. So yeah. what I want to do, so we have historically argued whether or not the selected tool on the left should be clickable or not. Mm -hmm. And I want to just for now fix that and make the selected tool clickable as reset. Okay. So, so right now, you know, you got a selected tool. I'm looking at users right now. And I'm clicking on it, and it doesn't reset. I want that to be yeah. clickable as well. And there's right. some idiotic standard somewhere that says something's not supposed to be clickable, and that's been cited for five years as the reason this is not clickable. But it's totally counterintuitive to people because it was that was a principle of some other kind of a website. I, right? I'm back. Uh, Bibi Baton told me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. So we'll let we'll let you catch up. I'm going. Oh, there's Jeff. Uh, I'll take a look at the Jeff thing here. Okay. Come on, Dropbox. It's a up battle, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what we ended up with. And actually, if you if you mouse over it, it says return to tool home. Mm -hmm. um, and we we played with a couple different um, iterations of that. Um, let's see yeah. if I can. Um, yeah, because because the because the actual home icon that that kept coming up with users like they thought they could go home. But I I love I love the idea of being able to click on the tool in the left menu and that reset it. I love that too. Thank you. I love you, Jeff. <laughs> I've been waiting well, five years for this moment. Maybe eight. <laughs> this is the moment. Well, you're you're gonna see you're gonna see me in about a week, by the way. But we'll talk about that later. Cool. So you can express your love then, <laughs> as as of course I would. What happens uh, when you when you press on the person icon in the upper right? At NYU? Oh, I was actually asking about Morpheus. Oh, the person goes to uh, profile, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> It goes to runtime exception. That's a great feature. There should be a button that always goes to runtime exception. We should have some little clickable area in that like dark in the lower left. It will, it will take you into a MOOC so you can learn how to program. Yeah, exactly. Take you right to uh, github.com slash Sakai project. OK. So, so what what do you guys think of 
you know, with those icons, what do you think of the sort of back to top? We, we played around and we threw a lot of different ones in front of users. Um, and that one seemed to, that one seemed to convey it. And there's, there's one more aspect to it um, that I can throw here. Oh, geez, come on. I'm almost there. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Screenshots, and I'll, sh I'll share this one, too, just to see what you guys think. So, uh, Sean, your question of what happens to the profile tool if it's stealth? Um, the backing Java and hopefully the VMs always, always detect it. So the backing Java only puts those values in when the when the backing Java define Skinnable Sharing Portal says, "Oh, you shouldn't see this." So it doesn't hand the velocity, the 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 URL, and then the velocity can't show it. So if um, if the profile tool Sean is stealth and there shows up as a link, it's a problem and we fix it. So so what it should do. And it should already work is if the profile tool is not allowed to be seen, then that would link would go nowhere. But then we could decide what you want that to happen. Meaning in a functional situation, it's supposed to know that. And it's supposed to communicate that to the velocity to velocity markup. And so we should figure that out. We should test it and then get it the way it, you want. Either it goes nowhere or it goes to say dashboard. And that would be okay too. And that can, those decisions could all be made in the velocity because the velocity is handed, here's the dashboard URL, here's the profile URL, oh, no profile URL, and then the velocity can render quite different when there's no profile URL. Yes, now where when you have no profile tool, uh, just uh, yeah. there's, no, there's no image. There's no image. Just... Mm, we we just show uh, the name and okay. the email. Okay. So that's, there's, there is no link either. That's legit too. The point is, is that's a decision that's made in the velocity because the Java code, um, um, and I'm I'm in kind of green with Sean. I like dashboard as fallback, and that's something you could just change the if logic in that velocity we were just okay. looking at. Okay. Because. Because you're handed all that information. Because you will make, you will get the, I mean, you may or may not get the dashboard URL. Yeah. See, I would say the right way to do that would be, if you have a profile URL, show the picture as the profile URL. If if you don't have a profile URL, show the picture as the dashboard. And you have a dashboard URL, show the picture as a dashboard URL. Okay. And if none of them, they go to my workspace. <laughs> okay. Right. So if you neither have a profile nor a dashboard, go to my workspace. And so it's always clickable, no matter what. Okay. Yep. So Jeff, that's what happens when they hover, or that's what happens. This is this is another option. Yeah. Yeah. So so we tried that when, and we tried that when they hover. So right now, when you hover, that kind of expands out and says return to tool home. But it could also just be a tool tip if that's if that kind of little animation is too is too much for people. Um, but we just like I said, the when we when we did our initial usability testing, the refresh icon, people just didn't they didn't get it. Um, and so that metaphor of returning to the top um, seemed to make sense. So so yeah, we you know it, it works with with opening up to that you know expanding to that return to tool home. But I think a tool tip um, probably used it. Uh, works as well. I I like a lot the tooltip, so it would it would be easier for the users. Mm -hmm. I like yep. it. Yep. Yeah, I, like I, it. I think the uh, the arrow uh, left and up plus tooltip is probably the best way as compared to putting a giant things. You know. <laughs> For, yeah, <laughs> that you rarely yeah. use, and the fact that the tool title is now clickable, mm -hmm. right? And the fact that the tool is clickable in the left nav as well, right? Yeah. So yeah, if, we make, I, if, the, if we make the left nav be a reset, we make the tool title be a reset, 
um, you almost don't need, that would be an argument, that would be an interesting test, right? Do we need an icon at all if the tool title is a reset and if announcements is in the left nav is a reset? We, we, yeah. try, we actually tried it as just a link, um, making that a link, but I, I don't think we had as much success. I think the visual cue was, was good for folks. Uh, you're, you may be right, you may be right. And the, and, but the fact that those other two have probably never been clickable in anything that you've ever tried. Yeah. N announcements wasn't clickable in either the title nor the left nav in anything you've tried. But it, it doesn't hurt, right, to put an icon that's not a house and make the other two things clickable and then run some tests. Yeah. Good UX, yes. We should try this, yes. Good. Uh, cool. Jeff, uh, quick question. So the icons I see you uh, for your uh, instance are different compared to the font awesome icons. Are you guys using a specific set of uh, fonts? Yeah, so so we are using, from talking to the developers, we are using Font Awesome, maybe some others as well, but maybe it's just a different set of them. I can, I can get more details from them. Um, but on, on that note, I wanted to say awesome, and not, not meant as a joke, but awesome that uh, we have the fonts, uh, the font icons again. It's so great. Our, oh, our, yeah. Everyone's yeah. so happy, so thank you. <laughs> yep. So... I'll, I'll just say I kind of like this Font Awesome one better than uh, the Jeff one, even though I adore Jeff. Um, <laughs> and the reason is, is that the only thing I don't like about the Jeff thing is it's kind of communicating you're going somewhere else, right? You're kind of leaving. I want It's like I'm pointing to the upper left. Why am I going to the upper left? I want to stay here, right? And so the, so the level up, it, at least it doesn't try to tell me I'm leaving whatever. When you say the level up, the, the, the Uday put a thing in the chat. Oh, let me see. The default font awesome icon for level up. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Just right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so I, I'm kind of comparing. The only thing I don't like about the, the stuff that NYU used is the fact that it, it draws my eye outside the frame, right? Mm. Gotcha. It makes me think I'm getting away from the tool. Like it's almost like a minimize, right? Like this tool is going to vanish when I hit this, the way you've got it. Like the the up and left. Like up it's gonna, and left. Like right. it's going to pull it back up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were trying to get across, like you know, it in a way you're it, in a way it's a little bit like a back button, but it's also going up. So that I would I would love it if somehow it was in the lower right, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. And then you're like then you're going backwards, but the arrow yeah. is pointing to a place you're not going. Really right. philosophical, whatever's Batman. No, so. I, I think I think the level up. So are you thinking like you know we have that level up and then and the tool the tool title is also a link and clickable. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I would put hovers on all of them, including the left nav. Yeah. That basically says, um, you know, hovers that says reset the tool reset the tool, reset the tool, or go to the tool initial page or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, the reset, actually, that's interesting, because initially the tool tip is, I think, by default is reset. And mm -hmm. then in, in testing, people were saying, oh, it says reset. Is that, am I going to lose my data? Like, what's, what's going to happen here? So there was some nervousness. Oh. That. So that's why we landed on return to tool home. But yeah, something actually, like I that. Actually, I like that better. I like that better. I like that better. Yeah, but I, 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 I saw... I, yeah, uh, arrow left may may work since it's the same to back in browser. So maybe maybe it could help. It would be like go back, but mm, see exactly if it is more than a level, mm, that would be left. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's worth play, you know, with putting putting the different those two different ones in front of users. If if I'm here, if I'm hearing you right, throwing those in front of users with different, um, you know, uh, different permutations of you know having the whole thing a link and uh, 
having the the you know to let's see sorry the uh the level up one and and the other one and and just playing with them and but yeah i mean i think the i think the level up one with you know the with the tool name as a link i i think <laughs> i think both of them are are much you know better than than uh what we have and getting in a good direction I just posted something that's not certainly a font awesome, but it's a it's an up and to the right as compared to up and to the left. Well, to the, yours, uh, so we have uh, to the right and up from Uday. We have New York has left and up, and I have up and right. But of course, a font awesome version of that, which really says go back to announcements. All right? If you look at the little green thing, I don't mean it to be green, and I don't mean it to be an image. But if you if you capture the notion of up and left, I'm mean up and right, and it's pointing at the tool title, right? That clearly says you're not leaving. Yeah. Both of the other two suggest you're leaving this rectangle. This suggests that you're staying in the rectangle and going back to the tool home. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that that's the interesting thing. I think that's why we put it in front of people because because when you say back to the tool home, it makes me want to think, you know, that you want to go back. But I definitely hear what you're saying with it. It also makes it feel like you're jumping out or, or leaving. Um, yeah. So let's throw them in front of users. But yeah, the, so we have we have what three different permutations of it. Ooh. Share. 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 Okay. Yeah. Share. Share. Thumbs up. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. So, but I'm gonna stop talking because I love this stuff and I'm no good at it. So yeah, <laughs> no, I, I think I think it's great. And I mean, you know, we, you know, we we play with these sorts of things, and then you know, we eventually we throw them in front of users, and they'll say something. And we'll say, ah, they have a good point. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, these these are all really these are all really cool. Yeah, but back, you know, there's a question, and and I'll take as a follow up. I'm not sure why our, I mean, I I really like the, um, you know, the font awesome stuff that's that's in there now. I mean, ours is is styled a little bit differently, so I'll talk to the developers and see, you know, what um, if they're using a subset or something, and just you know, just give it back to you for 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 all for the for all the the um, the tool icons in the left hand menu. I'll just throw back what we're using, and but but I really like what's in there. It's you know. Yep. Uh, yeah. Only thing I noticed is uh, you have a different set of icons for different tools. Uh, when I tried to match up with the font or someone, I couldn't actually correlate some. Uh, so I'm just wondering if what different set you have used. So. Yeah. And and i our guys might you know where we didn't find one, we may have built. Um, oh, created one. Okay. Yeah, we may have created them. So yeah, I'll um I'll I'll just start an email chain with um with. You guys, the uh, the Morpheus committers in in uppercase, or you know, the Morpheus committers and um, and and our and our developers, and we'll we'll figure out what they're using. Sure. Okay. Yep. And the best thing to do is just what was said in the uh, is put her in, right? <laughs> put something in, and just watch people to to, to communicate that we just got to iterate, right? Yeah. And move on and try something and and then test it when we can and then adjust when we can. But it's, I think, like even just looking at this share thing is better than the home, and it lets us keep home for home. Yeah. And then if I can get rid of the home tool, which I'm not sure I'll make in 12, at 11, um, you know, if I can get rid of home tool, then that's good. Yeah, I, I like it. This is, this is great. This is great. It would be nice if there would be something to capture for the home tool in the far left. Um, to, to use, not use the house for that, but to somehow end up uh, capturing the notion that this is a synoptic view, which is different than a dashboard. It's just some kind of a reduced view, um, a quick view, I don't know. And given that the home tool is uh, sort of on its way out someday, um, and some schools will hide it, um, it just seems like we might as well give it the second best icon. Instead of the and the upper left is really important. <laughs> Udea, you were like 
you must have a thing that listens to words and just finds <laughs> font awesome fonts. Yeah, I, because I went through all the icons to see which one matches which, so I pretty much know most of them. <laughs> <laughs> so this sure. is the home now, but I don't know. Should we no, use it? No, I mean, I would, be, I would prefer this one to what we have, right? And let the true okay. home be upper left, right? And again, I, to me, we're deprecating home, and this is like, hey, it's like from, this is like the Roman Colosseum. This is really old tool, and it should be in Greece. I'll try with Siri. I say, Siri, what's a good icon for the home tool that's not an actual house? And see if Siri's as good as Uday is. I like the university one. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> nice, nice. So, what's happening to the idea of combining the dashboard and the home and uh, you know the synoptic tools and figuring a way to make that all work? Is that too much? Is that too ambitious for eleven? I mean, one of the one of the things that we talked about just if, for those who weren't there in the last PMC meeting was, you know, when we were talking about replacing uh, home with just the dashboard, um, we talked about the fact that some instructors put a lot of content in site info display. Um, so, you know, maybe I mean, I don't know what else is on uh, in home that you know we'd want to retain but but one of the ideas was you know maybe just above and I don't know if Chuck, I don't remember if Chuck liked this or not <laughs> but you know maybe just above that dashboard information just give some some bit of rich text editor where they can say welcome to blah blah class and here's a picture of my cat and let's get moving sort of thing So, um, so yeah, I sort of, I, I completely agreed with the notion for non my workspace, right? For anything but my workspace, that probably home is more important than dashboard. So I, I think, I, I think what I heard and agreed with was that for non my workspace, home is above dashboards, right? And um, and it, if we could get message center notifications into dashboard, then we would change home to be just a full page of site information display, right? You take that and move that up, and that makes it a portlet. Mm. Although, interestingly, I'm looking at this. Well, I'm going to do a view source. Oh, wait. No, oh, it's an iframe. Because right now, site information is a portlet. Technically, there's only one iframe. So technically, I could have inlined it, but I probably didn't do it because I was nervous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> deep in some code, nine thousand layers deep, where a traceback would happen. So, um, so, uh, so I would say that for a non-course site, I mean, for a non-my workspace, home at top with site information display as entire page, dashboard as second with message center notifications available in there, so we can get rid of national center notifications from home. And then in my workspace, dashboard top, right? Yeah. So if you go back to my workspace, dashboard top with improvements to message of the day, get rid of my work. So I'm looking at my I'm looking at my workspace right now. And so are you. Yes, you're working on looking at another my workspace, right? So there's really nothing that's useful in my workspace information display. My message of the day could be easily added to dashboard. Uh, recent announcements could be easily added to dashboard. And calendar was the only one when I looked at this, I'm like, oh, crap, Alucius, right? Um, now what do we do? Um, and it just seems as though this little calendar is a really important thing. Um, when we had old schedule and we didn't have calendar, one of the first things that was built eight years ago was this calendar guy because it just freaks people out not to have it. Mm. 
And so one of the things I thought about doing, one of the things I thought about doing is going to dashboard. So click on dashboard and coming up with a way to in the upper right have a slide out for calendar, right? So if there could be a slide out so that calendar can just come up as sort of a modal on top of this thing, or you just hit the calendar thing. Um, you hit a calendar thing in the right side. So, so upper right underneath the link icon, some like little calendar icon that slides the calendar out on top of this and then hides the calendar, right? And, and so that's sort of what I was thinking of doing with the calendar because I was not thinking that um, the calendar could be, I don't think the calendar can be shoved into the dashboard UI at the end of the day. I just don't. And all that is lots of work, right? Um, message of the day is easy. Recent, recent announcements is probably doable. Um, what happens is, is you have to look at all the editability of these things. Um, oh wait, is there no synoptic? How come I'm not seeing us? Oh, there's no message center notifications. So the thing that worried me about message center notifications and folding that in is it seems like there's a lot of data going on inside this message center notification thing, right? There's preferences, there's don't show, there's this, that, and the other thing. And I needed, before I could even start thinking about that, I needed to um, figure out from someone who's more familiar with use of message center notifications in the real world before I really would commit to being able to get rid of that. I don't know if that all, any of that made sense. It did. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, so I was just gonna sort of keep on trucking with this stuff. And uh, I'll, I'll just let people know, I, I've got the, um, um, I, I, I mean, I'm, I've got the spec and I'll see what I can do. And I'll, my goal will be to slowly but surely eliminate those things from the easiest to the hardest. Yeah. I mean, the hardest part of it all is the seeming pretty significant configurability of the Synoptic Message Center and where to put calendar. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess the thing about pulling, I guess the thing about pulling home out as you know, the tool on the top, and it's all just a uh, rich text editor. I would say while there are faculty who do put things there and rely on it, there are a lot of them who don't put anything there. But can't they hide it? Can't they get rid of it? Or is it stuck there? Um, they can Some, hide it. Somebody, somebody said that if the home tool is not there, bad things happen. And I don't remember what that is. And I happened to be cruising through some code, and I saw something about Sakai.home, and I'm like, why is there a string deep in some code? I wasn't looking for that. I just saw it go by. So, hmm. yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, we could we could see, you know, how many are using it, but I mean, co my colleague Kyle <laughs> is on the call as well. But I mean, I think, and maybe he can, maybe he knows about this. But like, I think that. You know, we see a lot of sites where, by default, we just throw in, or maybe, well, I guess the system must be doing it. There's some information that populates into there, like the um, the course ID or something. Uh, but yeah, a lot of a lot of them don't fill it in. The ones who do fill it in will miss it. But I'm just, I'm a little worried that uh, for a lot of people, you come to the course site and it's going to be a blank page, <laughs> or just very limited information. And then to get to something you actually want to see, you then have to do another click look at the dashboard. Um, so I, I think the right thing to sort of talk about here is, let's consider this sort of like, it's not gonna all happen at once, right? right? And as time is available, I'll try to slowly but surely sort of fold those things in and it might turn out the dashboard is the ugliest and nastiest piece of code that humans have ever built. Um, and who knows, right? Well, I'll just right. give it a try. Yeah. And I'll let people know as we go. Yep. So let's, I mean, the Morpheus stuff, awesome, right? And, <laughs> and it was quick and it's beautiful and whatever, but the, the dashboard, 
will be sort of one piece at a time. Yeah. We talked at all about those top two rows and whether it makes sense to have two rows up at the top. Uh, you know, there's the Kai home and then the next row down there where you have the uh, the user profile and the drop down. You're saying the uh, second row of boxes where the uh, icon is, right? Well, you have the upper left icon with the Sakai in the home, and then you have a blank white rectangle right below it. So there's like two rows that are, you know, should that really be like one row or? You know, is that well, really I believe that's reserved for the site icon. Oh. Right. If the site has an icon. And then the other thing that happens in the blue, the left side of the blue box, is if you're going to roll switch, you see the roll switching thing. And I think what happens, and you know, Eduardo or Rudy can say this, that um, you know, at some point, if you try to get all that in the top, and there's all this stuff that keeps coming up and getting added, you know, um, the roll switcher, this, that, and the other thing, it just gets kind of crowded at the top. If you're going to have all those sites up there, and I think that's sort of the logic of the way things are. Yes, I think that's exactly what the, the reason behind it is. I mean, it's 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 interesting. Um, you know, I I, it, I I agree with you, Neil, that it's kind of weird and jarring to have that. Um, but uh, but I it, at the same time, if you compare us to other learning management systems. Uh, one of the things that um, that makes us different, and I think uh, a, a real UI strength that we have, is that the quick drop down, and no one is no one has matched us on that, right? Not Canvas, nobody. They have a courses button, and then you go to a whole page, and you click, and you have a page like ah, and it's terrible, <laughs> right? It does remind me of a checkerboard, um, and and so. It, it occurs to me maybe the thing to do to eliminate the checkerboard freak outness is um, flip the top and the second. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I think have on I the right side, on the right side, not on the left. Leave the left alone. So then there's a big blue bar that's got, and you keep the log out at the top, right? Yeah. So you've got the name and then the switch roll at the left of the top, and the log out stays at the top, and then the bottom is all sites, right? So that means that the top is kind of like what um, most other LMSs look like, right? La da 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 courses, this, you know, you know, I don't know, I don't remember what Canvas has across its top, but, um, and then we have this thing just below that is our uniqueness, and that is the list of courses, and it can go horizontally all the way at that point. And the only purpose of that second row is the site icon, if it exists, and, um, uh, the site icon, if it exists, and then the, the courses thing. Yeah. And we might that's find that if there is no site icon, maybe we want to expand that blue in the left to go full height. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's a, the thing that struck us was, you know, not having the user, uh, the user icon and, you know, the name at the top. In the top. Little, in the top felt a little bit weird, like having the user and the logout on the same line is, I think that's pretty sensible. Sensible and standard, yeah. And then if we reserve the second line for the role switching, I mean, no, no, and the role switching can be in the top line. But if the second line, I think, is nothing but sites, it probably makes the layout cleaner and easier and more flexible. Absolutely, and, and, it, and it works better with the, the PA system tool that we put in, so thanks. <laughs> oh, the most important thing of all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a side consideration, but no, I yeah, no, I agree with you. Definitely agree. Definitely agree. Yeah, I just noticed that it matches with the NYU theme now. <laughs> yeah, what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to again do some mockups in Photoshop, so we don't need to start um, doing all the stuff in SAS and. We can see a couple of screenshots. I can do some designs and send it to the developer list if you want to. Or we can watch it <laughs> next next weekend. And oh, sorry, ne next Wednesday. Uh, Wilma, are you on the call? Sorry, is Wilma on the call? 
Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think one was on the call or Louisa. I was thinking about that, that because I don't think that uh, they may have known, uh, you know. So yeah, I have this recorded though, so I can set that okay. to them after after it processes and say, hey, you guys might want to watch this, and and then they might consider, you know, having one of the UX um, representatives, you know, be on this call for the future. Yeah. Okay. So is it a good, a good time to wrap up? Wow. Time <laughs> passed rapidly. It does. Wow. I'm good. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, it's an excellent discussion. OK. Um, I guess then, uh, you know, we're just going to have this check-in. I don't know if we'll need a full hour each time, but uh, we will have this as an ongoing check-in and uh, for 11 a.m. Eastern, which I guess is, what, right now it's 2 p.m. GMT and probably, what, 4 p.m. for um, Spain. And we'll just keep it going. So thank you, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, 6 p.m. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.